Good evening, everyone. Happy Thursday. Good evening. Welcome back. Welcome. Welcome back. Welcome to the Forever in a Day show. We are Sean and Antoinette of Forever in a Day Publishing LLC, where we focus on God, family, career, and, and finances. finances. Yes, Tonight is episode 23, Hustle and Grind, Mission Equals Action. Yes. Please be sure to catch our previous episodes on our Facebook and Twitter and Instagram pages at F-A-A-D-L-L-C. And um, we just look forward to, you, to linking in with you every Thursday evening. That's right. It is customary that we always begin with a, a word of prayer. So let's go ahead and join hands and you guys join us as well. Bam! All right, Heavenly Father, we come to you on this beautiful Thursday to say thank you, Father God, thank you, for Lord. yet another opportunity to impact and be impacted. Yes, Lord, I ask that you encamp your angels around all of those that hear my voice, Father God. Encourage them yes, as they go Encourage through them. the daily trials and tribulations of what this Father side God. of life looks like and they have to yes, deal Lord. with, Father God. I send a special a special uh, just surrounding um, with my people, my black people and people yes, of color, Father God. Father God. Um, with the injustices that are going on, the modern day lynchings, Father God, yes, I just ask that you encourage and put on a whole nother level of peace and serenity, Father, to everyone that is impacted socially, yes, God, um, emotionally, behaviorally, you, um, direct God. or indirect, yes. Father God. We just ask for your guidance and your yes, strength. Yes, Lord. We love you and we praise we you, you for the blessing that you are going to bestow upon this episode. Yes, Lord. And we will never forget to give you all the honor and all the glory. And it is in your son, matchless name. Amen. Jesus' his name. Amen. 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 All right. Thank you. So we are here again, episode 23. Thank you for taking some time out and joining us right now, Father God. So as we recap last week. Thank you for joining us. And some of us, we actually ran into a few of our viewers um, who, who watch but may not, you know, actually chime in, may not, you know, add any contributions. But seeing our, our, our followers and the community, you know, definitely gave us some encouragement. So last week's, we talked about um, our vision board and, and being on the J-O-B. Uh, literally, we talked about how showing and writing our visions ourselves and for our families are important. So again, as I'm a visual learner, we put things in writing and we speak things into the atmosphere. So making sure that you you say what you are going to do, you write what you're going to do, and you be consistent with those things. It kind of gives that ownership. So we came by and, and encouraged each other to do that. We discussed how, you know, we all are visionaries. We discussed how um, we see ourselves as extraordinary people because God created us that way. Perfect, matchless humans. So when we came, we came on a mission. Um, we talked about last week, again, traveling to other continents and countries. Uh, Erica, our cousin, one of our viewers, she talked about visiting Thailand, Greece, and Africa. Uh, we talked about ownership of businesses. So a lot of our followers, a few of our followers have other businesses. So we talked about how our um, platform here is to, again, celebrate each other's accomplishments. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not ours to keep. So wherever we can tap into another resource, we do. Wherever we share another resource, we do. Uh, you know, our close friend, Kelly, she envisions being a life coach or is a life coach. So again, check out one of our former um, episodes and you might be able to tap into our resources, Kelly. If you did, leave your information, your contact information. Yvette, our longtime dental hygienist, uh, you know, again, she loves bringing smiles to people's faces and she is a business owner, an artisan, um, including scrapbooking. So those things in terms of pastimes and how you capture those memories, you know, she's a perfect resource there. Um, you know, another viewer, Larry shared how he desires to ensure the kids and adults around him are positively impacted. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that's huge, you know, making sure that the young people are witnessing greatness because there are a lot of non examples out there that's so true so you know seeing positive examples and being mindful of that so important and we shared how you know to begin again writing the vision and making it plain with one to two year short-term goals uh we concluded one of the nuggets that we walked away with um is landing a good space for you knowing that our vision 
we write for ourselves and our families are realized by staying on the J-O-B. All mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Hustling and grinding every day, which leads us right into this episode. True. So I think one of the biggest pieces that um, when we talk about like vision, last week was vision, this week is about hustling and grinding. Mm-hmm. It's just creating those affirmations or creating those um, sentences that you can say to yourself um, to, to start this motion, right? And so when we talk about hustle and grind and talking about mission, because in order to hustle, in order to grind, you got to be on a mission. And with that mission, it has to have action that's attached to it. So what is your mission statement, right? So it's, 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 it's just that simple. What is your mission statement? What... Why do you exist? What is what it, what what is it, your main purpose? Yep. Right. So, what is your mission statement? And so, I'm going to provide an example. Last week, I provided an example on desires. Like one of my desires is today. My my mission statement. My mission statement is different than my desire. Mm. My mission. Why do I exist? So, my mission is to impact others and be impacted. So that is huge. Like that can mean so many different things. You know what I mean? That can mean so many different things. But for me to be impacted, meaning that those that I interact with, those that I speak with, um, I'm leaving away from their interactions with a little bit of, of just a little bit more to add to my repertoire or to um, create something that is going to impact more people. So to impact and be impacted hence being an educator um being a mother being a wife i think every single day there's an impact that happens Mm -hmm. with me impacting my family the things that i do the systems that i've created at home at work but then also my interactions like coming home tonight and having the studio set up for us already that's my husband impacted me um, so that there's no stress when I come home and try to hurry up and get things together because the day was busy, right? right? Um, so those are the little things. So let's, I'm going to pause real quick because I know we have some folks that have joined us. And before, you know, I go into what is your mission statement, I'll, I'll just hand it over to Sean. All right. So, you know, again, Kelly, thank you again for joining us. Hi, um, you know, and again, the shout out, thank you for being here. You know, it's just our pleasure to join with you every week. Uh, Dana Glass Miller, thank you for being Thanks, here. Uh, Yvette, thank you for being here. <laughs> Love you, um, girl. you know, and again, if there are others, you know, I'll take a look at it and see them. But thanks everybody who's here. Um, and again, if you watch it later on, again, we hope this is a blessing for you. For sure. So getting back to the mission statement. So I shared my mission statement. The reason why I exist is because I want to impact and be impacted. So let's take this time to have you share what are your mission statements? What is something that you want to do? Like, what's your purpose? Who are you? What is your purpose? What is your mission in life, in your business, in life, in relationships, in your career? What is your mission statement? And just type, uh, type that down into the chat bar so that we can interact and confirm yes. and stand in agreement with you um, and making sure that mission comes into reality, a full reality. Absolutely. And some of the examples while you're typing your mission into the chat, some of the examples that we probably hear every day, but we can actually actualize the mission of it. You know, an example is blessed by the best, praying for the rest. Blessed by the best, praying for the rest. That's an action, you know, knowing that we are blessed by God, but then praying is an action. So in my mission, and and that's something that I have to do, I have to take steps in doing, Mm -hmm. you know. So the vision is, again, what we actualize ourselves to be. Mm -hmm. And how your mission is. And the mission is what you're doing. So Mm -hmm. that's why it's action. So praying for the rest is something, is is an actual, actionable mission. What's another example? Yeah, I just uh, thank you for clarifying that. I mean, vision and mission, because last week was 2020 vision. I'm stuck on last week. The vision is the, 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 explain it. Let me just, let's, let's just, just do it that way. What's the difference between vision and mission? All right, good, good. Boom. Let's go back. Let's go ahead and take some notes. Yep. So vision is what you claim to be. Overall, right? Overall. Mm-hmm. I am rich beyond measure. I'm not, you know, physically rich, but I envision 
vision myself to be. So the vision is what you visualize, what you envision yourself and your surroundings to be. Mm -hmm. I'm a prayer warrior vision. The mission is I will pray every day. I will walk it out. I will pray every day. Mm -hmm. So vision, big picture. Mission is what steps are you going to take to get there? Awesome. So I have, amen. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. So another mission that equals action. So Sean said, blessed by the best. Um, I would say something like keep putting one foot in front of the other. Right. And so it's, you know, I want to, I want to be last week. The vision was about me being, um, you know, able to manage my multiple sclerosis without having infusion treatments, mm-hmm. right? And so the the mission would be what we're doing right now. Right now we are in a weight loss challenge through Herbalife. So if I get my health right, right, right and I'm, I'm feeding my body the nutrients to be able to build itself back up when it's been torn down, um, I think that is a great keeping one foot in front of the other. I'm I'm waking up in the morning. I'm having my shake. I have my snacks. I am in constant motion. I'm think mentally I'm fine. I'm I'm in my devotionals every day. So that's definitely a, a mission action. Yes. Um what's another one that you can think of? Something that, you know, of course I've seen and heard a lot, especially I'm hanging around with Sean in terms of his young Marines folks and folks in the military. And it is stay ready. So you won't have to get ready. Yeah. What? I love it. Never, ah, been, ah, never been in the armed what? forces, but I definitely put that into my toolbox. Seriously. So stay ready so you won't have to get ready. And and oftentimes, you know, we that, talk about that too in our household. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And an example of, you know, trying to incorporate that into our kids and raising kids that have that, that mission insight. The other day, you know, I asked my daughter, our daughter, Siani, to take a ride with me. Um, and she said, you know, I need five minutes, Dad. I said, three. You got three minutes. I'll be in the car. <laughs> it's 180 seconds. 180 <laughs> seconds. Um, and again, we had talked earlier in the day about going and about being ready. So she didn't stay ready. So she got yeah. left. Bottom line. Three minutes, countdown in the car, looked around. She wasn't there. I pulled off. Not only did I have an appointment, but it still sticks to the point of you have to be ready. All the time, because you never know what might come up, you know. So, and I get that's to work. You don't want to be late to work. Yeah. You won't, don't want to be late to appointments or Zoom calls or whatever it is you have to go do. So again, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Is another mission statement. So let me tell you who is uh, that mission action. It is my mother is that mission action personified. Go ahead. My down. mom lived with us for five years down here. Um, she just moved back to Pittsburgh this past June. Mm-hmm. Uh, my mom does not drive. Um, she always would be on the public transportation. She started to do Uber a little bit. But she had some friends from the Kingdom Hall, and they would provide you know rides to her and things to the Kingdom Hall or if they were going somewhere or whatever, whatever. Um, no matter the time of day. If they ask my mom, like my mom asked for a ride, can you pick me up, etc. It doesn't matter what time of day it was. My mom was always ready sitting in our formal living room waiting. They never waited on my mother. Beautiful. Never waited on my mother. Mommy um, P, that is so adorable. It, it, it is. It truly is. And Sean and I were just reflecting on that the other day. Like, who, who does that? Because we always think that... Um, people are on our time. They're not. I don't mean to go down a rabbit hole, but I had to say it because my mom really, truly exuded that characteristic that I I, I just never took in consideration because I, I, I drive. I have my own car, so I don't really have to wait for people. I don't. People don't have to wait on me. Mm-hmm. Excuse me, but for her, she's like, look, I respect your time. So with with Velma Jane, uh, you she, you didn't have to wait on her, and I appreciate that. Yeah. That's just that's so awesome, Mom. Thanks. Um, so, you know, I think you want to, you want to, well, just, just one, um, before we go into the other examples. So Kelly Hollis, thank you for putting mission statement to pour into others that which was poured into, uh, let me read it right to pour into others. What was poured into by others and experience good and bad. Yes. And again, that's an action. Your mission is to pour in to others. others. What was poured into 
by others and experiences, good and bad. Amen. I love that. I think that that is that speaks a lot about uh, volumes in regards to the person that you are. Yes. Right. It's not yours to keep either. Right. Right. And so good or bad situations, and I may may not be interpreting it correctly. So please correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm what I'm receiving is like no matter good or bad, I'm still going to pour into people the experiences that I've had. Mm -hmm. I'm still going to use that. Like I'm going to. It has happened to me. I'm going to digest it, and then I'm going to be able to translate it to help somebody else. And um, I truly appreciate you for that transparency. That's a powerful yep. mission statement for sure. And for again, sure. that's conscious, that's hustling, that's grinding, mm -hmm. and that's intentional. Yvette writes, to make a difference. Period. Period, every day. You know, and again, that's a mission, to make a difference. If the environment is not so happy, then you're on a mission, I propose, to make a difference. Yeah. Make it better. Um, you know, whatever. So to make that difference is important. That's a mission statement. Good work. Simple, a simple hello. I know yes. um, environments have changed under um, us, our leadership. So leadership doesn't necessarily mean a positional title, mm -hmm. but as leaders, we were leaders when we came out of college. We were leaders in college. We were leaders in high school. Right. So when you interact with That's people, um, you know, in, in our in our jobs, you know, folks are tight lipped and 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 eyes closed shut. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When they come into the building or come into our workspaces, and the first thing we do is good morning, so and so by name. You know, you can change the atmosphere by the acknowledgement of other people. And to make a difference doesn't cost anything in that you're not even going to use too much energy. It's just acknowledging the fact that, yeah, this may be a little uncomfortable space, but I'm going to make sure right. that I'm comfortable in this uncomfortable space. And he that shines through us shines out of us. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. recognizing that and understanding is just a blessing. So true. Um, so true. And yes, Kelly confirmed that you uh, you interpret it and translate it correctly. <laughs> okay. Okay. Because that's the worst to have somebody be like, like no, oh yeah, trying to interpret you. You be like, that is not, no, not, I'm not even on that same road as you are. Right. We're not even in the same city when it comes to understanding what I'm saying. So that's good. Thank you, honey. Bye. Bye. All right. So and, and the other one was to become a certified millionaire by 2032. So I'm on that mission, and Tanette's on that mission to become a certified millionaire by 2032. I'm walking in those steps, so we'll see. 2032, we'll see. we've spoken into existence. <laughs> but we have work to do. You know, like, again. It's cute. I mean, I'm like, you know, I'm trying to speak into existence down to 170. Um, you better say it. But if I'm not working out and eating right and sleeping, uh, drinking water and some of those juice, there really is not going to go far. I'm going to stay in the same heavy weight that I'm at right now. So you got to put those things into action. Step by step. Talk about that debt. So making the transition. Um, so what are some submissions? Oh, so we're we going to transition to the mission actions. Yes, to the right. mission actions. So one um, part of uh, mission actions, right? We talk about our overall mission statements, but then we can break it down. We can break it down into that God, family, career, finances type of uh, mm -hmm. you break that, right? Absolutely. That's what, we stand, that's what we stand That's what we stand for. We ain't wavering. Nope. We're standing on that. Four pillars. What are they? God, God family, family, career, career and, and finances. finances. That's it. That's it. Period. Period. <laughs> what was homegirl so, so war? She uh, uh, anyway. Uh, look at that squirrel. Like yeah. uh, how she used to be in her comedy. Anyway, um, so when we talk about God, so what are some of the missions that we need to mission statements or actions that we need to put in place in regards to our relationship with God? For 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 us, mm -hmm. some of those action steps include, but are not limited to, right. attending church. Even in a Zoom environment. Even at Bitsap Baptist. We ex attend church every Sunday at 1030. We yeah. catch some Wednesday night Bible studies. But we, we attending church, even though the relationship that we have with God is our own personal mm -hmm. relationship, we don't have to be within a building. But for us, it is crucial for the fellowship. That's right. why we are members of Grace Church of uh, Dumfries, Virginia. Like this, it's important to us. So that's one of the, the actions mm -hmm. um, in our missions that we feel is very, very important. Another in relationship with God is just our overall attendance at church. Like, you know, there are times in the summer prior to going to Grace 
that you know if it's the summertime we we would take a siesta for two and a half months to church and then we come back when that's not True. right that we we need our soul continually mm -hmm. fed as well and confirmed um getting some understanding from the word so being consistent in our attendance tithing um, yes. tithing and offering we mm -hmm. offer every sunday we tithe every pay so the two times a month that's important to us because we've seen when we sow into God's ministry, he pours out a blessing so much more than we right. can ever, ever think, imagine, and receive. So we've seen that. We haven't had not one lack since this pandemic started. And mm -hmm. I really do attribute that to our relationship Amen. and also to our faithfulness to tithing and to offering. Um, and then the other piece is the fellowship. The fellowship, yeah. um, I mean, we have some, some lifelong friends that we have from Dell City Christian Church and Harvest Life Changers mm -hmm. Church and Grace Church. And those are our accountability partners. Yes. Um, I have a circle of sisters that keep me grounded and keep us, uh, keep me lifted, mm -hmm. but also hold me accountable for me as a woman, um, as a daughter of the king. They keep me accountable so that I am continually to lead my family after my husband, after being submissive to him, but leading my children and rearing them in the admonition of the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. And Antoinette is much better with her Bible apps. Um, than I am. I don't have apps. Well, the Bible app, but your devotional. I'm sorry. You're right. <laughs> no, See, I don't I'm, have apps. I'm like, all right. How many? I'm how many Bible devotionals have you completed? And um. So there's yeah. So I've completed almost 300 uh, Bible devotionals, yes. and I love U version. If there's anybody that's on U version Bible app, and I'm not their friend. Please add me as Antoinette McDonald. You'll see my face on there. Please add me as a friend. I love to read devotionals and to read them with other people. And we can share, you know, how the word and the devotional is impacting our lives today. Yeah. I would love that. And that's fellowship. That's you know, even, that is fellowship. Right, even through an app. Yeah. So, why don't you ask the good people? Mm. <laughs> what are some... <laughs> What are some steps towards a closer relationship with God? We talked about God, right? And the actions. What are some actions that you have or you feel you need to put in place to draw closer to God? Um, once again, hit us up on the chat so that we can um, highlight some of uh, some of your answers. Sean, what are some steps that you, I know I've talked about the, the two of us, but what are some steps that you are making to get a little closer in your relationship with God while people are, are writing their answers. Definitely. Um, one of the things is that, again, Antoinette talked about a little bit as far as having accountability partners. There are people who I don't go to church with, but I have relationships with throughout, you know, mostly fellas. Um, so we call each other and, and we may pray on the phone. And we, of course, check yeah. in with each other as far as family. But we talk about how important our relationship with God is, and we celebrate. So we give hallelujah moments to each other. Yeah. So sharing those praise reports, and again, it doesn't have to be big. It could be the fact that we woke up this morning. Come on now. And literally having that conversation with another believer is just awe-inspiring. It lets me know that I'm not by myself. Um, that's so that's, that's one. Again, that fellowship is, is crucial. Koinonia is really the word it talks about. Fellowship. fellowship. Mm -hmm. So, you know, again, even through fraternity, um, mm. you know, my fraternity in particular, Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, you know, that's something that we, we cherish is our fellowship, our brotherhood, yeah. you know, and that fellowship, that koinonia is important. Of course, it's a biblical, biblical based um, term and concept, but it's important. Another is, you know, again, some devotionals are important, you know, to me in terms of just not, I'm not all in like Antoinette. But as far as being a husband, as being a father, as being um, financially responsible. So those devotionals do get my attention and I do uh, tend to finish those. Share my light at work. After I go through wow. a sermon in terms of listening to the word at, on Sunday, I have food. I have tools. I have my sword is sharpened. Yeah. So really testing the word. <laughs> my God. So testing the word so in this society, <laughs> in these communities. And it coming back full fledged. It's not truth. void at all. It doesn't come back void at all. I feel like a superhero. I'm not even gonna lie. So in terms of my my relationship Your whole with God, armor with a cape. it is so strengthened. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not I'm not weak in my faith. I'm not weak in my belief. I'm not weak in my conviction. So that relationship with God, like, all right, God, this is the challenge. How should I respond? How should I answer? 
and trusting him to give me a word, and he does, that's right on time, that's that right. I could not have come up with in my little pea brain, I'm sticking with God. So, yeah, my relationship <laughs> with God is every day, all yeah. day. You know what I mean? I'm not Bible thumping. I'm not beating people over the head with the word. Not at all. Not at all. But I'm just learning to live out the word in my own skin. Yeah. Amen. 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 Um, I know that, uh, so we have, Kelly has responded in regards to like accountability um, and, and wanting to start life coaching. So guess what, sis? I stand in agreement with you. We're going to declare and decree Amen. that this life coaching is going to come to fruition for you in a mighty way. Um, in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, she shared um, some of the steps is just a personal relationship with God. She praises him in the good and the bad. And that's that's for 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 youngins in Christ, not by age, but in relationship with Christ. Mm -hmm. um, that whole praising him in the bad. That is a tough thing to do. That's you know, maturing. we always are able to be happy and, and joyous when things are going really, really well. Mm -hmm. But in those midnight hours, if you check back in some of our um, previous episodes when we had a stillbirth, when we lost our daughter, I was I was not willing to praise God. I was really actually damning him for taking our daughter but Sean on the other end uh, on the other hand was praising and rejoicing and thanking God yes. for who he is and it's hard to do that and I was young in my relationship mm -hmm. with Christ I really didn't understand and Sean was just in, in a maturity a more mature relationship and and further than I can't say further because it sounds like it's comparison but where he was in his relationship yeah. was different than mine's and he was able to praise God um, different than I was. And just like now, I, I do devotionals to keep me encouraged by the hour, mm -hmm. right? And so Sean's like, oh, I can't do those devotionals, right? But he does his ministry and his relationship with God. There's no comparison. It's just different. Personal it's the way that I commune with God is through devotionals. And um, when I go a day without a devotional, it, sh it shows. It really shows. Yeah. Yep, yep. So again, thank you for continuing with the um, you know the live chat and, and adding your comments. Because again, even if people aren't seeing them right now, they see them through the week. Yeah. So be a blessing by sharing your testimony. All right, Seriously. we're making a transition. Um, taking a look at um, what were you gonna say? No, I was just looking at the, all of like I said. Like we can we can hold that off. Okay. Because mm -hmm. we're at seven twenty eight. No, no, I I just wanted to. Start, but go ahead. Well, I want to start and then rush it. That's true. I mean, it's good word, like, but it's only 30 minutes. Like, we don't have an hour show. <laughs> we only have 30 minutes. And so I know you guys, you guys see us, like, talking with each other. You know, everything is intentional with Sean and I. So it's, with intentionality comes planning. And with planning comes thought and forethought yes. and prayer and all of that. And supplication. And supplication. And, and discipline. And discipline. And, and restraint. And inhale and exhale. Because Sean's, you know, there are times when he's like, and then I'm, if something's not going right, then I get like kind of crazy. So we all have our own idiosyncrasies. Yeah. But, um. We, we we gotta honor we gotta honor the thirty minutes, babe. Like we have to honor the thirty minutes. So with planning, we plan um, a lot. We do. We plan a Cause lot because we're educators. You know, in terms of lesson planning, we're used to making sure that we plan enough content. Like anticipated difficulties. Like if yes. it doesn't, if there's nobody interacting with us, then we're gonna breeze right through this lesson. <laughs> but if people are interacting, we are not gonna get anywhere near the yes. end of our lesson. And so we are not anywhere near. Yeah. The end. But I know y'all promised to come back next week. Sure, sure, you sure did. So we please, did. please, because I I love the interaction. Sean's my best friend. We we interact with each other a lot. Um, to be able to have this show and interact with you and and hear and learn different things and understand different perspectives. You don't know how much you're feeding into my spirit when you interact or when you watch the show after the right. live and you have your comments. I go back and respond because it's just so awesome to have other people's ideas mm -hmm. and to see that people are also moving along just like we are. We're not the only, right. not to be self-centered, but we don't really know the inner workings of other people. Mm -hmm. And so it's really good to have people engage through this platform. Absolutely. Us. So again, we thank you. And, and just to give you a kind of heads up, little teaser, 
we're going to start off with your steps toward building a better relationship and closer relationship with family. Yep. God, so again, family. God, family. So we're tapping into how we collectively build stronger and closer relationships, step towards building strong relationships with family. So and if you take really that as homework, as you take that for thoughts to ponder, you know, you can come in or start blowing up the chat now. It's up to you. It's up to you. No pressure. <laughs> All right. So as always, it's not ours to keep. No. Thank you for watching the Forever in a Day show with Sean and Antoinette of Forever in a Day Publishing, LLC, where we focus on God, family, career, and finances. Please connect with us at F-A-A-D-L-L-C on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Send us an email at F-A-A-D-Publishing at gmail.com. Join us again next Thursday at 7 o'clock p.m. for a live episode on the FAAD LLC Facebook page. Have a blessed evening. Have a blessed evening, guys.